Well, medium high pollen count today, so I guess we're not going to do anything outside. Honestly, I kind of felt like making a video. Um, can I see my phone real quick? Hey, Tim here. It seems like in life, a lot of things are simply left to chance, whether it's hitting that 24 on the roulette wheel or even meeting the love of your life on the bus today. Specifically, genetics is a perfect example of chance. I didn't hit the genetic jackpot in several ways. For example, I've been lifting for almost 7 years now, and after squatting almost 400 pounds, I'm still on what kids refer to as Team No Calves. However, the one bonus genetic feature that I did come with, keyword being did, is a lack of seasonal allergies, or allergic rhinitis. Growing up in South Florida, my entire family experienced seasonal allergies, especially during the spring. I'd watch them struggle with auburn-colored sclera and itchy noses while I sat back and laughed. Unfortunately, my laughter finally caught up with me, because this week, my body decided, hey, I'm going to suddenly start getting severe seasonal allergies, as you may be able to hear in my voice. So on top of everything else, my body has developed a new fun feature. So this led me to ask, why is it that 30% of Americans experience seasonal allergies and possibly more important? What can we do to ease the symptoms? While this video isn't directly related to nutrition, if you're struggling with allergies like I am, you found the right video. Let's get started. First of all, we still don't quite understand why some people develop allergies while some people don't. However, for those that do, this is how it goes down. When I stepped outside and took that initial deep breath, I inhaled a large quantity of particles known as allergens. Essentially, allergens are just small airborne particles that have the potential to cause an immune response when they enter our bodies. Upon entrance into my respiratory system, these allergens triggered a large release of antibodies, such as immunoglobulin E, to neutralize the perceived threat posed by the foreign particles. Once on the loose, these antibodies travel to my mast cells, which are rich in a compound known as histamine. And when the antibodies actually come into contact with the mast cells, the mast cells will release all of their histamine. But before we get ahead of ourselves, histamine is a compound released by our bodies in response to foreign material. But why? Simply put, histamine increases the amount of white blood cells, or immune cells, that can reach the site and battle the foreign invaders. However, this defensive move by histamine also causes inflammation, which can make you feel itchy. Other side effects may include a runny nose, sneezing, itchy watery eyes, coughing, and even dark circles under your eyes. Like I mentioned before, we still don't really understand why some people develop allergies and some people don't. Until more research can be conducted, it's pretty much attributed to a genetic roll of the dice. 
However, if both of your parents experience seasonal allergies, you are considerably more likely to experience them yourself at some point in your life. So, if like myself the odds weren't quite in your favor, here are a few things that you might want to consider to make this time of the year a little easier. First. Many healthcare professionals and physicians feel that the best way to handle allergies is to prevent them before they start. Allergy medications, such as antihistamines, block the histamine receptors that can cause symptoms, and many healthcare professionals suggest that you may be able to lessen these symptoms by pre-treating them ahead of time. Also, if you have a tendency to spend more time indoors, there are ways to even prevent your allergies from flaring up within your own home. Specifically, installing a MERV-12 high-efficiency air filter in your AC system may prevent allergens from penetrating into your home. And be sure to change it every three months. Also, since allergens thrive in moderate humidity, you may want to track the humidity in your home and try to keep it below 50%. And finally, you should always be weary of home remedies. For example, many people believe that eating honey will help you build an immunity to pollen and even other allergens. However, it's usually pollen from trees and grass that trigger seasonal allergies, not exclusively pollen that bees carry from flowers. On one final note, there are thousands of claims out there on the internet, so be sure to speak with your physician before beginning any type of regimen for your allergies. And as always, thanks for watching.